In this lesson, I'm going to use Photoshop to mask out the sky in this photograph. I'm also going to show you how to use smart objects so you can kind of have a better way of picking that best sky for your photograph. Now let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to begin by adding the sky that I want to use for the scene. I'm going to go up to File, Place Embedded, and I'm just going to choose one of these skies and double click it. Once this image is here, it kind of has a big X over it. That's just telling me that I need to place the file where I want it. And it's filling the whole scene, and that's what I want. So I'll click on the checkbox at the top to confirm it. Next, I need to make sure that the sky image is below the eagle image in my Layers panel. So I'll go to the Layers panel, and I'm going to press and hold the Option or Alt key and double click on that background layer. That unlocks the layer, so now I can move it around. Then I'm just going to drag this layer up to the top so that it is sitting on top of that sky, and now I can start masking. I'm going to make sure that I have the Quick Selection tool active, and then I'm just going to brush this cursor over my image to try and select all of that sky. Looks like it didn't pick up a few of the feathers up here in the top, so I'm going to press and hold the Option or Alt key and just tap inside of those feathers to make sure that they're selected. It doesn't matter if some of the blue in between those feathers is not selected. I'll go ahead and take care of that in the next step. Now at the top, I'm going to click on Select and Mask. I can see right away that I need to invert this, so I'll go over to the Global Refinement section and click that Invert button. I also want to make sure that I am viewing this image on layers, so make sure you have that set if it's not already there. Now I can see that there are some areas in between those feathers that I need to refine. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and pan over, and I'm going to make sure that I have that Refine Edge Brush Tool selected, and then I'm just going to brush over those areas. Photoshop is basically reading the image to know what the background is versus what the area that I'd like to keep, and that's why it knows to only remove that blue area. And I'll just brush over some other portions of it just to kind of clean it up a little bit. And it even brings back portions that have kind of disappeared during the masking and selection process. I'll pan over and go to the other wing. I'm going to increase my brush size a little bit and just brush all over the edges and the ends of those feathers. I think this is looking pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And once it takes you back to your image, all it did there was it refined the selection there. It didn't actually create the mask. So now I need to create the mask inside of the Layers panel. And I do that by clicking on the Add Layer Mask icon. Now my beautiful bald eagle has a brand new sky. But what if I didn't want to use this sky? What if I want to change it with something else? Well, that's a pretty easy thing to do with a smart object. So I'll just go over to my smart object, right click, and select Replace Contents. Now I can scroll through and see if I can find a different sky that I'd like to use instead. So I could just keep doing this and keep working uh, with different skies to find the perfect fit. For now, for these purposes, I'm going to go ahead and stick with this one, and I'm going to show you one more trick that you can use to kind of blend these images together, and that's adding grain. I'm going to add a new layer to the top of the Layers panel, and I'm going to fill this layer with gray. So I'll hold the Shift key and then press the Delete key, and that brings up my Fill dialog box. In the contents, I'm going to make sure that 50% gray is selected, the blending mode is normal, and the opacity is 100%, and then click OK. Next, I'm going to go up to Filter, go down to Noise, and select Add Noise. I'm going to make sure that Monochromatic is selected at the bottom so that my grain is black and white, and then adjust this slider accordingly. I don't want to add too much grain, just a little bit, and then I'll go ahead and click OK. Next, I'm going to change my blending mode down to Overlay. And if I zoom in, pan over, if I toggle this layer on and off, you can see that now I've added grain to the entire image. And if you want to reduce the effect a little bit, you can just kind of decrease that opacity slider so it's not so intense. And that's all there is to adding a new sky inside of Photoshop.